Intrusions from cyberspace. National governments are not any more immune than individuals. Estonia, for example, was the victim of a series of cyber attacks in 2007. Since then, a cyber defense center of excellence has been opened in Tallinn, Estonia. Information attacks know no frontiers, and so NATO has taken up the challenge of combating them. Cyber defense is one of the priorities in its new strategic concept, adopted in Lisbon in mid-November. The stakes are high. Well, first of all, we have to protect our own systems because every day we suffer up to 100 cyber attacks, five of which are usually uh, deemed to be quite serious. So we need uh, to make sure that our cyber incident response capability is able to detect those attacks, give us early warning, uh, and make sure that we are able to protect all of the confidential information in our systems, including, of course, the operational networks that serve ISAF uh, in Afghanistan. Uh, but uh, beyond protecting our own systems, we want also in the future increasingly to be able to assist individual allies to protect their own uh, military infrastructure uh, and also their critical uh, uh, national infrastructure. NATO's security against information attacks is maintained here at the Supreme Headquarters Allied Powers Europe in Mons, Belgium. The NCIRC, or NATO Computer Incident Response Capability, was set up at shape in 2004 and plays an increasingly important role. Its experts in engineering, security, monitoring, and encryption, representing nearly all the NATO member states, work long hours every day. Their role is to protect NATO's information networks, a very difficult job. This is the front line of NATO cyber operations. In here, we prevent cyber attacks from happening, but where they do happen, we also have the capability to detect them, to uh, respond to them, and then to recover from them if they're successful. The main difficulty quite often in defending against cyber attacks is just the sheer scale in, in terms of the number of cyber attacks that we face. So it's a tight race in cyberspace. Virtual threats are multiplying and becoming more sophisticated. Viruses and malware must be detected and eliminated as quickly as possible. At the NCIRC, experts from different nations exchange their knowledge and work together to stay ahead of the game. After all, a cyber attack could have catastrophic consequences. The attacks can come from, frankly, from anywhere, from a global type of virus that would affect our home computers through to specifically targeted attacks against uh, trying to steal NATO's information uh, or perhaps defacing our websites. If a commercial company has a, uh, is affected by a, a cyber attack, it could mean the end of that business. With NATO, the uh, consequences can be much more severe because of what we do and where we do it, if we lose our networks at the wrong time, it could mean loss of life. The NCIRC also stresses the importance of training and educating users. What to do when you receive an email from an unknown source, or how to use memory sticks safely. Information campaigns are aimed at creating a real awareness among users. NATO wants to reach full operational capacity by 2012. The aim is to create effective cyber protection for all NATO's military and civilian infrastructure. Even if there is no such thing as zero risk in cyber defense, the organization is determined to reduce it to an absolute minimum. This is the NATO Channel reporting from Brussels.